so here's a tutorial for you so first you start by priming your face and i'm going to be starting now with my kiss beauty fix up spray the whole idea is to try to make your face as hydrated as possible so i'm just spraying it all around then i'm taking my melanin face mattifying primer and i'm just going to prime my face primer helps to make um your makeup last it helps your makeup last creates a barrier between your skin and whatever products you're applying now i'm taking my primer my zico primer my oil free primer and i am just applying it i'm applying little quantity because this primer little really goes a long way yeah so i'll just sit for it to dry a little then i take in my cerave moisturizing cream i ought to have applied this before my primer but well at the same time this really worked well applying it at this time it really really worked magic so i'm taking my fix it spray again just to set it all up in now i'm going in my con my orange corrector orange corrector helps to conceal or to correct dark spots and which i want to correct on this side of my face there's a green corrector which helps to correct reddish spots or reddish blemish so what you want to do is to spread that corrector in the areas where you want to cover those dark spots take your beauty blender and blend it by using pattern motions remember you are not to apply it as though you are applying a coat like a foundation coat but just apply it in the areas and pat in the area so it is concentrated around that areas you can also use it to cover like your dark under eyes which i did so i like to take my um my coverage step by step like one portion by portion i like to segment my face rather than applying it all over because it may dry up at some parts so i like to segment it so i took one side of my face and i have done that so now i'm going on the other side of my face and I'm going to start blending it out ensure you blend it out thoroughly before it um, dries out on your skin this corrector is the LA girl pro corrector so it looks a bit um, very very spread across my face because i the spots i have were just spread very sparsely like it was spread around so i had to cover that although it's not really really visible to the eyes but of course on camera it will be it looks very visible so i'm just showing you how if you have a dark spot how you can correct it so now i'm using my concealer of your shade here i'm using toffee in the shade of toffee my la girl pro concealer and what you want to do is to conceal or, or apply your concealer as a coat on top your corrector this will help to in shade matching it will help to you know counter the ready shade a little so your makeup doesn't look too reddish especially if you've applied way too much corrector so ensure you're using pattern motions and not swiping motions so your makeup does not break out or break off
ensure you take your time in this pattern process and what makes this process super easy is how well you have prepped your skin So now I'm going to be going in with my foundation. I'm using the Zika Even True in the shade 0 0.046 Mocha. And um, I'm just going to be applying it. This um, process is very good. This correcting process is very good if you do not want to have to layer your foundation one, um, two, three times. So this process just helps you apply it once. And if you notice, um, you, it may seem like the foundation seems a little bit light, but it is not. Because first of all, I kind of have a hyperpigmented face. And secondly, um, I tend to have foundation oxidation, which makes my foundation turn darker after some minutes. So applying a, a shade of my exact, 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 or a shade that looks seemingly like my shade, will make my face look darker in a matter of some minutes. So I went ahead with this foundation. So of course you want to spread it out thoroughly. You can apply your setting spray whenever need be. It helps to, you know, keep your face or make your face hydrated as it goes. So you can see that the foundation is getting oxidated and is already blending in with my skin actually by the time i was done with my makeup the the foundation had already blended with my skin tone so here's the final look if you love this video do well to like comment if you need any tutorial and subscribe turn on your notifications too